Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry, and as you may know, I'm always on the lookout for unusual museums, and I found one here in kind of an unusual place, Haynes, Alaska, the Hammer Museum. And yes, it's a museum about hammers, so let me show you around. It's a small building, but boy does it have a lot of hammers. And this is what it has out front. Big anvil. Hammer down. <laughs> and a bicycle decorated or partially functional by hammers. How do you like that bicycle wheel? So let's go in and Take a look at the Hammer Museum. Early hammers were shaped with two pieces. They just have an anvil and the an head. These are early strap. So it's still two pieces, you know, the head and anvil. But over time, those would eventually just fly off because you're on a flat anvil. So those were the latest design. They didn't make the oil, came up with the eye, where you have three pieces, you have a piece of the top, you have a piece of here, and then you have the head. And you know the finger trap poise you try to pull doesn't work exactly like this is. Okay. So the head wouldn't fly off with this. Yep. And that was a great invention. And you see people over here on the patent wall, it's a really crazy patent. You know, oh yeah. The cosmetic. There's a pattern, 1826 square degree cosmetics. Someone patented that. You hit your face as part of your beauty care routine, get rid of wrinkles. <laughs> Yes, it is. So you have the craziest patents, you know, oh, yeah. people had ridiculous stuff, but he just didn't do it.
it's thankfully it went really, really well for them, but it was kind of cool, you know, because yeah. he saw a need right at the time when they were going to break off and everything. So to find the tip of these things can help you to feed them through this program. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Smart guy. They've got some real cute ones here. I bet you never imagined a hammer museum <laughs> would have so much. Wow, look at that. I don't think they've missed anything here. I'm saying you look like that. Is there anything you haven't been able to find? started the museum? Dave Paul. He's a blacksmith and a shipwright in Seward, Alaska. And then he moved here with his wife Carol. Uh, he uh, built his own cabin, Mosquito Lake, about 30 miles north of here. And his wife uh, wanted to get rid of all the hammers in her home. And he's a longshoreman, so he's hanging out here pretty much every day, early morning, late night. So she suggested starting a museum get them out of the house and to share the collection with other people. So it's grown from about 600 hammers when he found the museum to 7,000. There you go. And their biggest hammer is out front. There you go. Good day, folks. <laughs>